What is going on guys, they call me Epi. Welcome to another video on the channel today. In today's video, there is a Santa Muerte DLC personalization pack in Ghost Recon available for you guys, but there are some problems with it and I wanted to talk about it here today. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video, consider dropping the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those bell notifications so you never miss any Ghost Recon Wildlands video because there are a lot of them and Ubisoft keeps updating the store and I have made it my job to keep you guys updated and in the loop as, as much as and often as possible. So under the costume section, you'll find Santa Muerte there and it is this really black, um, all black gear with some exoskeleton imprints over that black gear, and you got some face paint on as well. I like it. Cosmetically, it fits. It fits the lore of Ghost Recon with Santa Muerte. It's a huge element of the game, and cosmetically, I'm, I'm digging it, but it says you have to unlock it in the store or with the season pass, and I am a season pass owner, and this content did just drop today, but it's still locked. I don't have access to it at all. I can't unlock it in the game. I've reset my game. I've tried to install it through the Xbox menu since I'm on Xbox Live. Nothing is going to work. Now, that's going to be a fix that's probably going to come in the next couple of days but it's still broken as of right now now if you go over to the store you're going to see that you have two packs available you have the first santa muerte pack strike terror in the heart of the feeble minded and it does include that costume we just talked about but it also includes an lmg the 6p41 reaper which does have a cool uh very light exoskeleton skin over the top of it which is cool i like it it has a description that reads it keeps hell stocked with souls like that's badass that's, that's i'd run that in ghost recon but it is worth 1940 credits if you go over to the other pack as well the second Santa Muerte pack. This is where you're going to find your classic vehicle drop packs that we've seen before. This pack has a description that reads, become an instrument of Santissima Muerte and send her the souls of your enemies. Now you're going to start off with that helicopter drop, which I like the paint job actually. I'm, I'm actually a fan. The Santa Muerte pickup and the Santa Muerte bike. Bike is a little bit lower on my radar. The, the pickup is pretty cool, but the helicopter is my favorite, although I don't think it comes stocked with any guns. Scratch that. It has no weapons. And some of the other vehicle drops we've seen in Ghost Recon do have some guns equipped, so this might not be the best choice if you want to go guns blazing, but it's a transport helicopter at the end of the day that is also going to run you 1,940 credits. Now, that does equate to a little over 10 bucks, maybe $12 roughly USD, but these are two separate packs. If you're not a season pass owner and you want to get this stuff, you're going to have to spend about $25, give or take USD, in order to get all the content here. Now, that's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion, since these are mostly reskins of previous vehicles in the game already, and season pass owners can't even get the content right now. Now, here's the situation. Season and pass owners are not happy with one the price point and two the quality of the items coming in the DLC in the store right now and for the items that they do want or may want to consider picking up it's it's still locked even though you have the season pass associated with your account this needs to be fixed it's very easy to drop the prices and I know they have to make some money off this this is just downloadable content and by no means does anybody have to purchase this stuff but at the end of the day it's still cool to have and it would be nice to see the prices drop just a bit just to uh, make it more user friendly and I think everybody would benefit from having more content in the store that is available either through Uplay or for Season Pass owners because I know as a fellow Season Pass owners, uh, they feel like there isn't enough content there for the Season Pass price point. So let me know what you guys think about this. I like the content. I do. It's cool and it's cosmetic and it's awesome, but it's a little bit steep sometimes. Now let's talk about our top rated comments for this video. You guys were very vocal about the DLC in our last video and I'll link that video in the description if you guys have missed it, but let's get into it. Take your girl when I want. Y'all talking about clothes and new guns, which the community does really, really want. Uh, you guys should be worried about pvp most of us beat the game and we want to use our skills and kill their players and that's facts i'm a pvp guy at heart i completely understand that there's a dry streak as soon as you beat ghost recon and i'm going to address end game later on but keep in mind that pvp is starting out it's going to be a 4v4 one mode and that that's about it so if there's anything ghost recon needs right now it's replayability and pvp can deliver that if it's done correctly if it's a tactical experience and it's fun and i believe that they can deliver on these things and if they do we won't be talking about end game anymore because pvp would be the end game Rainbow Six Siege survives solely on PvP, and it's doing great. But is one mode going to do it? I think we're going to need a, a few more than that if this game does want to survive over that long haul. So Daniel Lyon agrees with most of you guys, saying that the DLC has been straight nonsense. Apparently, Wildlands is what it is, and we're only going to see cosmetic DLC other than the two DLCs determined already, Fallen Ghost and Narco Road. It seems that way so far, um, and I think that we could alleviate some of that with more tactical DLCs, but that's just one opinion. Tons of potential, total lack of content, endgame is barren, wasteland of mission repeats, and full of bases you already cleared. I got my money's worth, which is true. Already over 200 hours wasted and still playing way too much, which is great. A $60 price tag for a single player experience that is going to be consumed once you have beat the game. People don't understand that that's what Ghost Recon is. Wildlands, as of right now, is a finite experience that once the game is beaten, that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, I'll address that later on, but it's not an RPG in which you can replay the game a million different ways and you'll have a different tactical experience every time. You play it once or twice and that's the way it was meant to be played. These DLCs, in my mind, are meant to add 
add some fresh air, it's just they're missing the content right there, and they could do a better job of matching the content to the theme of the game, with some wiggle room, of course, because I do like some comic relief as far as the store goes, so I got off on a little bit of a tangent there, I'm sorry, Daniel. If you guys do want to be featured on the top-rated comments, please let me know. These are discussions that I'd like to have with you guys, and I'm reading the comments as best I can. As always, if you want to be featured, drop your thoughts in the comments, and I might feature it in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys on the next video.